three a pretty competitive advantage in a larger regional scale because mm -hmm. there are so many people there there is so much competition yeah. so it's cool to see over the lifespan in a game not even a year in yet and we're, we're gonna get involved. yeah we're gonna get started with game number one here on Pokemon Stadium two and Haloran you were talking about new faces <laughs> Crudge is someone I have no idea what they're capable of but they're rocking the Terry right now so you know that's always gonna be a threat especially with these day one Terry mains who have been labbing out the character they got some new stuff and with it comes matchup inexperience from the other side you know the character's only been out for two weeks or so. Who's to say how much experience Barra really has? But he's doing a fine job right now. He's got 71% already on Crudge. I'm excited for this because I want to see how Terry handles himself in the competitive meta. Yeah. It's just like, great character, easy punishes, jab, jab, down B. Seems to be pretty much oh, the bread, bread and butter. butter but getting sure. back on the stage is always going to be a struggle. Now he has to go back and get it. Crudge going to be able to do with that. Not getting punished on the recovery. If he's able to get back on stage like that often enough, he could have a good time. Yeah, absolutely. And like you said, Go is online. You get that once you're above 100%, and you're not going to lose it until you lose your stock. He is going to make it back right here. Barrow went off stage for the edge guard, put himself in a bit of a precarious situation. Manages to make it back, and the sliding F tilt taking that first stock. The threat of Go is now gone. And of course, when you have Go, you get actually supers. Like you get, you get super attacks. <laughs> oh, Ooh. yep, that kills. Rising tackle, by the way. Yep. Thought you were gonna get back on the stage here. Uh -uh. Plot twist. All right, Crud, even game zero percent. Barra has definitely shown some value out of all the Pokemon so far. I really think the Charizard's gonna be the star of the show here, just because of how heavy. Is. It's like a free train. We saw him get the stock. He survived the power dunk competition earlier on. You Squirtle to get these low zero percent damage. Mm -hmm. they move on, move on from there. Yeah, and it, you're right. He is doing a really good job of using the Pokemon evenly. However, personally, I know that Barra prides himself the most on his Squirtle. And I wouldn't be surprised to see the Squirtle out for a little bit longer than the other ones, just because he's smaller and he has the combo tools and the edge guard potential with the uh, water gun to really thwart Terry's recovery. It's one of the cool things about Pokemon Street, man. Two players rarely ever play the exact same way. Go is active once again. Maybe you might be asking if he's okay or not. Really trying to Guard the return to the stage, runs him down, another smash attack, he doesn't get the stop. All right, the down tilt pushing him forward. He's gonna get the grab. Nice, mashes out of it, but he mashes an air dodge right into the forward smash. Para up yet another stock with that 134, maybe not for much longer. Para out here putting it in the Ready. 19% power dunk, by the way. Yeah, dude. 55% flare, but it's why not? Just go ahead and roll the dice. I love power dunk. It's such a cool move, especially because you you can actually jump. It's like a two and one. You jump over an attack, especially like a projectile, and if your spacing's right, you just punish your opponent for it. <laughs> like it's like, oh cool, sick. It has extremely minimal in play, yeah. bro. So if you're your opponent's not on point at all. That's a huge shield, spot dodge, and potentially a punishment opportunity in and of itself. Back air is going to miss. Gives the opening for Bear to jump in. It's the, don't feel spin the win on the turtle shell, too. Now he gets an air right here, down tilt into the dash attack. Catches him with an up air. He's going to charge the water gun. Oh no! Crudge going a little Oops. bit too low. It looks like he wasn't aware that he didn't have his jump. That, that's the only scenario that I can really imagine there is that he wanted to use his double jump to get back to the ledge. Unfortunately, not going to be a resource available to him. And it's going to cost him, cost him the game. Barra moving up one in the set. Let's see where we're going to go for the next stage. Honestly, I don't think the stage had too much to do with it. But I will say he may want to go to a smaller stage such as Smashville. Um, Especially because if he's Squirtle, he's going to be a lot more slippery on a uh, wider stage. So it's going to be harder for Terry to catch up. He doesn't run all that fast. And we do see it, the Smashville counterpick. Uh, I wonder what Barra actually banned, since I would have expected the Smashville ban. 
on me. I'm always curious to see the psychology behind that because that last combo we saw Bear pull off towards the end of game one, just dragging him across the stage. I was like, yeah, a smaller stage would definitely help Fred out here. Hopefully he's able to shake that SD off, force out game number three. It was pretty much even right up until Terry had an anchor tied to his ankle out of nowhere. Yeah, very, very, very close game, in fact. And that's considering the fact that we didn't actually see any of the go moves. Uh, you know, it's a little bit trickier because you do have to use inputs. Like the two, the power geezer is a uh, quarter circle back, half circle forward. It's not not a common smash like right. technique. When you see Terry teabag and it's time to hold shield, <laughs> you're ready. It's going to be yeah, combination. He falls out of that. It's so funny that actually, it's very useful for Terry to teabag because if you're not aware. When you hold down, you actually charge the rising tackle and you get an invincible version of it. The power dunk taking the talk, just the stock straight up right there. Only at 77%. Crudge in a really good position now. All right, and that SD didn't happen. He might be up game one right now, the way he's been playing. Ooh, nice. He keeps the pressure on, just follow oh. him off the burn knuckle. Ambitious. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that reminds me of Sakurai when he did the presentation. It was like, oh man, that was, that was a risky move. <laughs> and Bay was really good. Bears, like, what was he going to do? Grab me if I get on the stage? Apparently so. Grudge definitely trying to run away with this one. And now his trap card's oh, been activated. Oh, oh, oh. Can we see the power geyser? Can this is see if he's okay? Yeah. <laughs> is, he, is he in fact okay? We'll, we'll find out. Nice. He uses the rising what? tackle. He got a stage. Strike. I would be dead. I Yo. would be dead. I'm not taking that. <laughs> And it, it may have been untechable at, at that point because he was at a very high percent. Uh, unless he was ready to hold um, up right. to reduce the LSI. Down. Or, I'm sorry, down to reduce the LSI. All right, very down to full stock. Trying to get out of his best of three. Turns round one immediately. Rising tackle has a thing or two to say about that. 2% already racked up. Crudge is doing well right now in Smash. Yeah, absolutely. Like, I said, the, the counter back working out for him. Two uppers from Barra right here. He's got positional advantage. Oh, ooh, man. Keep scoring out if you want. Yeah, it covers so much space, though. Really good to throw out in this situation. Mario starts to get some offense going himself. Again with the follow-up. Grudge, this is about the slowest we've seen him on offense because now Barra starts to make things happen to buy the store of Smash. Sends him off the side. There it is. Forward cheeky, smash. Cheeky power dunk. Short in leg, but you can't, you can't just throw that out with yeah, yeah. you. Gotta, you got to do it uh, <laughs> st strategically, of course. Uh -oh, uh oh there's the downer. He's still going to make it back, though. Jab, jab into the power dunk. Is that it? It is. And Crudge taking game number two. We got a game three on our hands. And it's as I said. I mean, not only did Crudge take the first stock, which significantly helps him out, because then he's up a stock and you get sort of like the waft, the Wario waft effect, where right. where he gets go and he's up a stock, he gets go. That's like, you're like more on edge. Uh -oh. you're, you're like, oh man, like how do I approach this? And uh, there was also a couple setups that Barra got hit up that told me like, maybe he doesn't know exactly what to do in right. this matchup. He got hit with a down throw up air to rising tackle which is a really good uh, combo if your opponent DI's in. But if you DI, I, I believe, out, you, if you, should, you should be able I to escape I think you it. do pop out yeah. of this. Okay. Yeah. One of the most interesting things about this best of three so far is that anytime the Go's been active, we haven't seen Buster right. Wolf. Yeah. We haven't seen Power Guys. And I liken it to a fully charged, like, Samus charge shot. It's like, is it going to fire? Is it not? You kind of get to the head of your opponent. I'm wondering if Fred is even going to try this at all. We're back in Smashville. Yeah, back to Smashville. Really interesting. Okay. I mean, Barra did just win on it, so I guess he, he, did, he doesn't. Oh, Crudge, oh Crudge I'm sorry. Crudge won it. Yeah, you're interesting. Huh, Barra, he said like, run it back. Yeah. Interesting. Sometimes the uh, pride principle comes on the line. Like, run it back and take this game. Let's see if he's able to pull it off. Game three, first match on stream tonight. We might be in for a spicy game. Yeah. All right, about even in percent right here. You can see uh, him, Crudge trying to ledge trap a little bit more using the power wave to cover the ground. Nice, that's so reliable. The jab, the double jab into the power dunk. Uh, and it's been connecting consistently too. 
He will take one on the chin for that one. Doesn't cost him to stop just yet. We're back here in neutral. I really like this adaptation from Crudge. Ivysaur comes out, Power Weave comes out. Just really keeping him in check, stopping the Razor Leaf from becoming too big a factor here. Yeah. Just keeping him ahead. Yeah, that's actually one thing I've noticed from playing uh, Terry myself. Ooh, you can't hang out like Ouch. this. Ouch. Get yourself hurt. Yeah, he's going to lose the stock for it. Down by one. Oh, nice. The F tilt on the shield, able to connect with the burning, uh, burning fist, burning knuckle. What's it called? Is it burning I knuckle, think it's burning burn knuckle. Burn knuckle. Burn knuckle. Yeah. It connected with Charizard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> knuckle meet face. <laughs> Crash right. gets over the turtle, but armored up by the way. 70 second stock. You know that that attack from Squirtle could definitely end Terry's turn if he's pressing the button. Too much. He's being able to armor through, starting to net some value for Baron. Air dodge back to the left. Juice gets the forward smash. Oh, he avoids the forward smash this time. Jumping over it, landing with a back air. Doesn't get too much from it. That's like the one area that I think Terry is kind of weak in is like recovery. I mean, his recovery is good, just uh, very particular. And the edge guarding phase, it doesn't really seem like Terry can really go out too much to get those edge guards in. Yeah, if you're playing Terry, that's when you kind of lean over to the sip of water. It's like, yeah, I'm not doing too much off stage. I'll wait for you to come back. That's not stopping Crudge at all. Anytime he goes off, like, he gets a rising attack. Oh, oh hi! God, dude! Oh, that's my lick. Yes, that was so good. I mean, he caught the two frame right there. Or he, I think he just outright hit him before he even tried to snap. Oh, okay. Terry's going to connect. Terry off top. He's like, get back on your Neo Geo, buddy. Last stops, game three. Send him back, man. Send him back to the arcade. Here we go. Bear up, moving with momentum right here. 40%. Gets a dash attack. And he's got the water gun charge. So that's going to be something to look out for right now. Hey, Bear is showing why he favors the Squirtle. Crack Shoot gets Grudge back on those, 65 to 38. Ivysaurus come out to play, dash attack, that misses. An ambitious one. Uh oh. Uh oh. This could be it right here, Eddie. Yes, it can. Ooh. And there it is. He uses the power dunk. He had exhausted his resources. He felt like he needed to get back to the stage as soon as possible. So, Vera immediately capitalizing, charging up that strong attack and taking. Game number three in a really, really close set, man. I'm surprised. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm really impressed with Barra's just overall patience there. Yeah. He didn't jump out too far. He was like, let me read the option. Yeah. That is one of Terry's biggest weaknesses. If you do wait out and you have these ginormous hitboxes like Ivysaur, you can punish rising tackle low. You can chill and wait there for the power dunk coming in high. Heads up play there. But we also saw a lot of strengths that Terry brings to the table. Mm -hmm. Anytime you leave yourself open at all, there's going to